Good morning, everyone. I'm excited to be coming this week, our Holy Week, the week of Easter, celebrating Jesus and uh, his life and his death and what he's done for us. And uh, our topic today is Jesus is in control. And uh, I don't know if you wrestle with that, but I know I sure do. And um, our devotional today talks about how Jesus is in control and uh, how we can depend on him, trust him, cling to him when times get tough. And uh, just about the time we think that things are going well, it seems like the bottom drops out. And uh, so our, our passages uh, share about um, how things can be going well and then just uh, everything's upset and, uh, and changed. And uh, so what do we do when that happens? I know for our family, over the last few months, we've been going through kind of a, a wrestling time, just um, trying to get moved to Carlisle. And, Thankfully, we've recently been able to do that, but trying to make that happen and and um, uh, and even as it, as we get moved, our routine's changing and um, it seems like everything's upside down and and uh, you know our house is in disorder and stuff and so it, it can it can wear on us and wear on nerves and things and so we know that we need to trust Jesus and cling to Him and it really takes an effort sometimes to make that work and uh, and to take the time and uh, and so we need to do that. And our devotional today talks about Jesus. And um, if you read the story there, it's um, Luke 8, chapter 8, verses 22 to 25, just four verses. Take the time to read that. Uh, it talks about the story of when Jesus calmed the storm, and, and Jesus can calm our storms. I hope uh, that you are trusting him to calm your storms as well. And, uh, and so what, what do we do uh, when things seem to be going wrong, going you know, a different way than what we had hoped or where the bottom drops out. And, um, and so the one question it tells you to look at there is, who is this? That's the question the disciples asked themselves, who is this? And then when you think about that, think about what can Jesus do in my situation here right now? And that's what I always have to do. And then I, I even sometimes just picture myself clinging to Jesus as our anchor behind the veil, as the scripture talks about, our anchor, the one that holds fast for us. And, uh, and so think about what can Jesus do in my situation, and then just pray that back to him. Jesus, I need you in this situation. Please come and help me. I hope you enjoy the devotional today and throughout this week.